Hey everyone, this is another intuitive advice reading, which I think I'm down to seven left. So email me if you are interested in getting one. The first 10 are free. So let's go on to the question. I like a reading on my purpose in this world. I feel urgently that I should be doing something, maybe being a healer, but I have no direction or guidance. I think the student is ready. Where is my teacher? How do I develop the trust, my own intuition? Honestly, from my heart, I just want to do the right thing in life, period. That's beautiful. I mean, okay, so I feel like we just work on living our purpose every day. Like, do what you love to do. I think you mentioned to me one time that you also do tarot readings. Maybe I'm mistaken. But just doing divination in that way or any way will help you to develop trust in your intuition. I think it's because it helps to test your intuition. So you're not just going by theory, you're going by proof that your intuition came true. And you should uh, keep track of that. So when you start to doubt yourself, because we all do eventually, um, you could come back to that and see that, no, your intuition be on point. Sometimes, sometimes we're not right because we might not even be meant to be right. Like a question that I see for people that do stuff like me is that if you're so psychic, then why you don't see things coming in your life and stuff like that? Um, or why do I still go through heartache and pain and stuff? Or times that my intuition may have been incorrect or something like that? I don't know. Whatever reason, because they have a version of what they think I should be, but I'm just focusing on being myself because that's all I could do. That's the best I could do, and that's the best that anybody can do. So live up to your own standard, to your own standard. It was another point, but I think I forgot. <laughs> Let me think about it. Hold on. What's my other point? Okay, the other point is gone, but um, you said that you are a student and you looking for your teacher. And then after that, you said that basically you had trouble with trusting your intuition. I just want you to know that those two factors are tied in together because you still looking for something outside of yourself to make you feel exalted when you could do it yourself by just living and experiencing because life is our teacher. So we all are students to life because every time we go through a trial and tribulation or a success or whatever, those we learn the lessons within that don't those lessons later on give us wis wisdom because without coming across a certain person and experiencing them however you experience in them you may not never knew a person like that exists <laughs> you may not have known how to protect yourself from a person or something like that 
like there's lessons and everything everything is a lesson it's just that we get caught up and lost and thinking that um it's like we almost programmed to worship or something we looking for something to worship but that's just a part of, of us not believing in ourselves and our own divinity. So because of that, of course, we're going to be looking for it outside of ourselves if we don't believe in ourselves. So you just have to start to believe in yourself regardless of what anybody else think. But that doesn't mean to be guarded, you know, <laughs> or not to listen or take advice or whatever. It's just that I guess it's discernment. Take what's for you and takes what's not for you or just realize you're going through a lesson to learn that because nothing going to be easy. You wouldn't like it if it was easy all the time either. Trust and believe. You wouldn't like it. You would be so bored. You would be so bored if everything in life was just easy. So I guess in that, you could appreciate the lessons. But I'm not sure if I... I'm trying to explain it the best way I can because for me to even be aware of this, um, I had to go through a lot and stuff like that. So it changed who I am. It changed my consciousness. So I'm aware of things because of some harsh lessons that I already learned. And maybe if it's something that you don't understand within I'm saying, that means that maybe within your life, you about to come into that lesson because you knocking at the door. So you gonna come into a lesson that gonna put you through the, through the experience that will help you to understand what I'm saying. So that means don't overthink it don't be too hard on yourself don't overthink it just fill it out if it resonate it resonate if it don't it do not all right so let's go back to your questions here are ringing Like, I wonder if that's something, like, from outside or something, or what? All right. So, okay, I'm going to ask on your purpose. All right, so the first card... I just asked Spirit, what is your purpose? But I'm sure Spirit is going to pull me th deeper than that, but which they already did. But the first card I got is Child Orphan. It came in a shadow attribute, which is feeling of abandonment that stifled maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families, basically seeking something outside of yourself. And that's what keeping you lost because you keep looking for something to give your power to. Just um, tune into the things that you like to do and to the crafts that you are into and just do that. Do it until you're good at it. Do it until you're comfortable with it. So all of that, um, Spirit is basically saying that it comes from your childhood with abandonment issues. 
So you looking for your family. You looking for like your soul group, your family, or somebody to lead you, to be there with you. But sometimes when we are seeking that, we forget how to just be. And that's how you attract people to you is just being, you know, because a lot of times when I feel like people feel like this, they don't have a sense of identity. They don't have a sense of who they are yet. And it's because they distracted. Maybe you too much in your mind need to get back into your spirit. And that's like being in the moment being present i know it's harder than just doing it so i'm gonna ask some questions of how you can do it but let's first let's put some more cards on your purpose okay so you care a lot about justice getting justice for things so maybe that's where you need to put your focus on however you want to do it you know I care about that too. That's why I do what I do. So find out what you like to do and still be doing that. Creating some type of balance, creating some type of justice. You are naturally um, like a, a caregiver, like a motherly figure. But I feel like you do need to protect that energy more um, so you won't get taken advantage of. Also, um, you can mm. you may need to spend some time alone like to really get in tune with yourself better or get comfortable sitting within yourself within your soul within your spirit like how you feel about sitting in silence for a long time does it make you uncomfortable if it does then ask yourself why if you don't know if you got cards or whatever, you can ask the cards. Don't overthink them, though. Feel them. If you overthink them, you're going to get frustrated. So, or go to a reader or something. I mean, there's a lot of ways, but just be aware of what makes you feel uncomfortable and aware of your triggers. so that you can um, heal them. Don't run towards anything right now. Like go internally and work on things. So I got this God card. I didn't know it came out sideways and I didn't know if I should turn it up right or reverse. So I do feel like you have like this energy within you, which is connecting to your divinity. Uh, maybe like very intuitive, but I think that it can be clouded by your mental at times and cause like confusion or that conflict um you got to find out what that is i could give you an example um when i first started doing readings i was very uncomfortable because i had trouble trusting my intuition as well but i kept doing it and there was 
points that I've been like I didn't trust my intuition it's like it would cause that conflict and the issue was me caring too much what other people think that's what the issue was and then I went into questions like why do I care about what they think like it's not that they don't matter or uh, they beneath me or anything it's more like we all souls have an inner experience so if they judging me it's a reflection of themselves i'm not perfect but if anybody have that perception of me they projecting some shit on me or ideal or whatever with how many spirits and souls in the world i can't defeat all those ideals and projections and stuff like that so all i can do is just continue to be myself and be real and authentic and live my life that's all the fuck i can do because that's what i have control of so and that created a lot of healing but it's just like that you just gotta ask yourself those questions i guess it's the why i do think you have um like psychic abilities and stuff like that i feel like you can see things coming um there is a specific way that you do it that you could tap into it the best let me see if i can get a card for that to switch decks for that question <laughs> look the messiah card came out serving humanity with humility and that's all you want to do that's all that's what you want to do so just keep doing that don't start attaching more heavier things on it like success and money and stuff like that just do it because you like to do it and do it for like you will have to do things with high integrity um similar to me or things will go really left for you so you do have to do things with a certain type of purity, which I feel like you have that ability. Um, also be very careful of what you are feeding your spirit, like energetically, because I also feel like you are very sensitive to energy and you could get overly influenced by it too easily because um you haven't built up enough um security like around you boundaries it's mostly because you want to belong and fit in and that energy will have you fucked up it will have you fucked up because it would, it would have you out here being something else it's better to just be yourself all the time and i know people don't do it intentionally um it's similar to the energy of peer pressure so be careful of that energy but with this visionary and this messiah you have very strong powerful intuitive gifts i actually i want to put like another i want to put another card on that well these cards right here be
Okay, so I did have some shadows come out. I'm not going to read all of them, but I'm going to see what they're talking about. I think that you can be overcome by like a very critical mind, negative mindset sometimes. And it could also lead you into being manipulated sometimes. Um, you do have powerful energy, so you will have to be very responsible with it because I feel like you can influence people. And when you can influence people, um, you got to make sure you're doing that with the highest integrity because if you don't, then you could easily like get blood on your hands and... um hurt somebody hurt somebody in a situation that's not beneficial you know actually hindering the process because sometimes you have to hurt people in order to progress something and you could always see they got that ringing again you could always um but there's a difference. You could feel the difference in the energy when it's destructive and when it's progressive. Because when it's progressive, you feel good about it. When it's destructive, that's when you have a lot of negative feelings like shame and guilt and stuff like that. And if you do have those feelings, go and make it right. Like apologize if you need to um not for that person but for yourself i mean this not situations that you just because you want to take accountability for everything but you know when you when you was wrong with something you know you know <laughs> so just you know make it right on your end if you're in that situation i'm not saying that you are though okay let's go back to the questions oh and you also say that you wanted to be a healer and i see that for you um but I do feel like you're like an energetic killer. Um, maybe even uh, mental. Like maybe with this mentor card. <laughs> mentor and mental. Uh, maybe you can help people to deprogram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like you can help people to deprogram. Maybe in a way that you are observing conflicts, like let's say that so like a mediator, I'm getting that as well. So basically you are the teacher and you know, you learning lessons from life, but I feel like you're supposed to take those lessons and teach them to other people mentor other people um men things between people and if you want to go like to school or something like that like maybe you do something as like a lawyer or something or um human resources or something 
I don't really know if that's going to fit your energy, to be real with you. Like, school and stuff like that, I feel like I can maybe see you going to one of those holistic schools where they teach you about, like, acupuncture and um, herbs, herbal medicine or something like that. Because I'm feeling something earthy about you. Um... And with this visionary card, it's just one word that I zoom into. Let me see if I can find it. That envision word. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim. <laughs> willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. And I feel like that's also tied into this mother card for some reason. Nutrience. I struggle with that word, my goodness. Patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. So there may be like a deep uh, purpose through children that you may have. Or may ha like have in the future or have now make sure when you're judging people um you're not going into a critical space like you're not going into this space right here this shadow attribute Offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. I'm not saying that's what you are, but make sure when you are being a mediator or the mentor or the, the person that's in the position to judge the situation, make sure that you're not being too critical or in your shadow attributes at that time like that feeling like the negative side of Virgo to me that energy so be careful of that be careful with that because you have a lot of power and um I also feel like you're very artistic, but I feel like you could, your mind sometimes block you from your creativity. Or it could be the fact that um, You may even get distracted by love sometimes. Um, and that could like pull you away from you, um, your creativity. <laughs> so be careful of that. Make sure that you release any physical blockages in your life regarding relationships, regarding maybe the location that you are in. If you are feeling unhappy or stagnant where you are at, start to work towards removing any blockages. One way to start doing that right away is setting boundaries telling people that you don't like certain behaviors um 
telling people how you want to be treated in whichever way is comfortable for you, but set boundaries and try not to get too carried away and love um, somebody that truly love and care about you they will also care about that so okay so I'm getting some advice from spirit for you okay I'm gonna read the cards I got um, this is from my On The Mind deck, which will be posted soon. I'm just waiting for them to approve it. So, I just don't feel the same. I'm detached from my emotions right now. I feel like you may be going through like something in a relationship um, that is kind of distracting. Um, also, I got sometimes I forget to nourish myself. I need to get back on my throne. Definitely. I really felt that energy throughout. This is the Empress reverse. So you really need to set healthy boundaries, take care of yourself. Um, and realizing what you really want, like right now in this moment on smaller scales sometimes like maybe right now you just don't want a certain person to disrespect you or something then get away from that person do stuff that you can do right now like little things and don't make no excuses for for anything like just do it um, I find it hard to relate or understand you. Can we get on the same page? I feel like you feel this way with or about somebody, but I also feel like this need for community and family. Like maybe you don't feel understood or accepted, um, but with this hermit card over here, I really feel like right now you have to learn to be alone or be by yourself and be comfortable with yourself and get to know yourself better and do things that you like to do like I was in that space at one point that I wasn't really close to nobody that's when I went on that journey to like ayahuasca and stuff like that I just try to refocus on myself and got comfortable with being alone and then I started to attract people that is similar to me are not it's not similar that I'm looking for that's another thing like a lot of times we feel like our soul group collective or whatever is um people that are just like us that's not the truth how you really gonna progress if everybody is the same it's good to have differences that way everybody can add their own unique quality so it's just the fact of us being to a point of being healthy to know enough to coexist in peace with each other and a lot of times we make it harder than what it really is and that's because um we broken so we need to heal ourselves basically and that's really what the journey is about like healing yourself and you could share that with other people and that could help them on their journey of healing themselves all right so i believe i cover all your questions thank you for requesting a reading from me i do appreciate you sharing your energy with me and i hope you enjoyed it and stay blessed y'all